Hey guys, I just wanted to shoot a quick video and let y'all know real quick what the Lord's telling me right now. Um, the Lord showed me in several ways and gave me gave me the number. Um, I think it's 7601, if I'm not mistaken. I, I might be mistaken on that, guys. And then next to it was 1116. Um, in Revelation 11, 6, it talks about how these people will go out and strike the judgment um, as much as they want, as much as they, they choose to do. And then the other number means an, a remnant shall return. And it's been, it, it was put in front of my face for about two days. And finally, I'm like, wait, I, I had felt the Holy Spirit say, look, look at that number. And he's given me that number once before. Oh, there's a cardinal over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. Oh, oh, is it too blue? Uh, a red cardinal maybe there. And <clears throat> the Lord's given me that before on a license plate that was in front of me when I was praying to the Lord again, asking for sure who I am. And I look directly up and that was the number that was in front of me as I'm praying the prayer and I go to look up the number right after I pull over and um, it said a remnant shall return and I was just like, wow, Lord, thank you. But that baby food jar has been sitting in, I, I stand at the, uh, in my kitchen at the counter almost okay so like I can't sit down because uh, during the day or at night I can't sit down until it's time for me to go to sleep because um, I'll fall asleep I have narcolepsy really bad and I'll fall asleep just like standing sometimes now I do it when I stand up but too because I, st I stand up all the time now and so I started to fall asleep then but um, it's helped me not to fall asleep so much throughout the day but I stand there at my counter and in front of me on, on my right hand side is this like grass looking, it looks like grass, um, bottle dryer. And I've had a thing of baby food sitting up there because my son has fallen asleep for the past two nights um, and didn't want to get up to eat, to eat food. He's teething really bad and he's just like, no, I'm not having it. So I've been feeding him during the day. But that jar um, or that like cup, whatever you, whatever they're putting him in now, the little plastic cup. Um, I had been sitting there for two days because he had an eight and which is so funny because the Lord like timed that so perfectly I guess but um, but the Lord showed me that okay so a remnant shall return and they're going to strike judgments upon the world and they're gonna have great power um, wielded by uh, wielded to them through through prayer now um, I'm not just gonna be able to look at something and catch it on fire no 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 you have to pray um, and the Lord will answer your prayer through, um, you know, mis magical ways, just like almost magical, you know, it seems magical, but, um, miraculous, that's what I'm looking for. Miraculous ways. There'll be miracles. And, um, he showed me that a lot through dreams, through, um, prayer and through like being revealed it through like just the knowing and then the other thing he showed me, guys, is that we are going to have an increase, and I've already felt it. Now, I felt one increase, I felt I felt two, right? Um, about a one, about a month and a half ago. I would say a month and a half ago. Could be two months. Um, and all of a sudden, guys, I, I had, like, slowed down on research and, and like, really... Um, you know, doing the puzzles. I had slowed down and took a break from it for a little bit. To, I don't know, my, it was just getting really hard to do it at my house. <laughs> and so I had to take a break. And then all of a sudden, um, I just, I just felt in my, hold on, there's like, oh. sorry, there was a bug flying on, on the inside of my house. Um, I got it. I'm still gonna do the video. I'm sorry guys, but I gotta, I gotta keep going. Um, the Lord just like all of a sudden, it just increased the Holy Spirit in me. It was nuts because I just, it was like a 180. I turned 
and started doing research feverishly. Um, started seeking the war feverishly, and, and it, ne it hadn't stopped, right? And then four days ago, maybe three, um, he told me that there was going to be an increase, and then he told me it again, and by the second time, I felt the increase, and I, I, it felt physical, like I had felt it come on to me, and it hasn't left again, so it's not just like a feeling you get, and you know, you have like a knowing you're going to get an in increase, it's like staying, like it's not going away, um, it's not like you just, you know, you get filled with the Holy Spirit for a time while you're talking. It's it's just staying. It's really crazy. Um, I don't, I, I don't, it's crazy, guys, okay? And then, I want to, last thing I want to add, I wasn't even, I didn't even think about adding this, but the Lord reminded me of this. So, yesterday I was sitting outside, and guys, it was so windy. We were having a really, we were going to have a really bad thunderstorm, but it didn't get bad here. But it got so windy. Um, it knocked down branches in my yard or more branches. This tree's got to come down. It's, it's dying on me before it, before it kills my house. Um, but I was sitting at this table right here and I saw this flash of lightning that looked like it struck the yard then uh, right over the fence. And I was like, oh my gosh, it struck the yard. And it was so bright and blue and just... It was strange lightning, okay? It was some strange lightning. Now, two days prior, I got the word finger of God. And two years ago, I watched um, this Unsolved Mysteries that literally the whole thing was made by the Holy Spirit. And it was like, it talked about the finger of God in this whole family name. Um, all of their names were, were Christ, like Christian, Christine, all of them. And they all had been struck by lightning. I think it was like 18 people in their family. And all of them were like the Chris and Christines and those, those names. Throughout their generations, they all been struck by lightning. And they called the episode the finger of God, right? But in the episode, it also had um, the Hopi Indian stuff. And the very first dream that the Lord gave me was about the Skynet. Um... And there being like a sky grid in the sky and I, if y'all saw my video that I just made I, I I saw the grid in the sky dude like there's a grid up there it's blowing my mind you can see it every night um, in the clear like like there's a grid up there and um, and I know that sounds crazy but like man I saw it it was, it was just a wild thing but this lightning shot down right and I waited and I didn't hear any thunder no thunder it didn't come at all there was no and it's not like it was loud outside no it was only the wind was blowing there wasn't rain um it had already rained a little bit uh, but the rain had stopped there was no other sounds i live out in the country you know there's other houses but but and i haven't looked over there on the grass to see like if, if lightning like actually struck the ground and burnt some grass or something but I think I saw the finger of God. And last night, this is how he like revealed more of it, more of the powers, which, you know, we kind of already know what they are. But he's, this is like a more, uh, he's confirming this a lot bigger and with a bigger anointing. Um, and last night, he put in my head again the finger of God. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's what the lightning was. It was the finger of God. Like, and so I just typed it into Google. And there was this, this movie called The Finger of God that this guy um, started doing research on. And he didn't really, like, believe in it. Like, he is a Christian. But he wasn't, like, whatever you call charismatic. Whatever they call charismatic. Apparently what we are. And, um, and he talks about all these miracles that he saw. Like, bread um, appearing before your eyes. And his aunt and uncle got gold teeth. Uh, like, <laughs> had, like, fillings done in gold and like he had video evidence and stuff like that but he made a movie out of it and then he made a movie too a uh, number two and it has Sid Roth in it but he revealed to me that like he's going and he had already been showing me that he was going to heal me because I have MS guys and I'm also blind and I also have narcolepsy and I have fibromyalgia 
and I have like none of my teeth left they're all just destroyed there are so many things wrong with me like health wise which I thank the Lord for all these things because I know that he he designed and planned our lives so that we would become the people we are and become humble and loving and forgiving and we have attributes that people don't have nowadays guys we have specific attributes for going through those pains and through these hard times that we've gone through and I know for me I've been I've been homeless a drug addict um, just so many things you know up and down all my life but yeah even through all that like I, I still like stayed humble I was always like tried to be a happy person and love people and I always could forgive people like I, I it was actually it became a problem that I was too forgiving to people and that I let people push me over too much type of the thing but the Lord made us that way so that we could handle what was what's going to happen and be who we need to be and because of that and because of the lives we've all gone through we get to do these things, but he showed me that we're going to do healings and miracles, you know, but, um, he's shown me with this increase through and through the countdown that if you saw my video, I'm sorry, I haven't made a better one yet. You guys, I just, honestly, I just, this man has so much time and now I'm paying for it. Okay. But the countdown got to one, one, one. Um, and I tr actually I made a video. It's 18 minutes long, and it had no sound. It didn't pick up any sound. I don't know why. I was really mad. By then my kid was crying and stuff, so I couldn't make the video again, and I haven't had another chance. But I ended up um, the way the Lord showed me that um, that the countdown was like we were at one. First I got the increase. Um, and, and the Holy Spirit and then um, this car when I was going into the dollar store was parked in front of the door right he was blocking the door and I mean you could still get in but he was pretty much blocking the door for everyone else like and um, but his car was a Corolla which means crown and um, <laughs> and his license plate was three two one and I was like oh wow thank you Lord and I got a photo of it and so um, I'm going to figure out why it didn't have sound. Um, that video is scratched. Like it just doesn't have it. It didn't even take sound, I don't think. For some reason, it's not like set to take sound. I'm not really sure um, how to fix that. But I'm going to have to make the video over again. Um, but the Lord told me that, that the countdown is to the kickoff event. Um, and he's been showing me a lot on the kickoff event and stuff like that. And guys, it was very sports themed, okay? And we were Team Red or Team Alabama, but it's Team Red, really. Like if you think about it, blood, the blood of Christ. And um, and so I still think that there's going to be more to that. I know there is because he builds upon stuff a lot, you know, more than that. But also, guys, I don't think I got this out. Um, he gave me the word. This is the, one, it's the main one that stuck with me. Or two of them. I wanted to throw this on here. First off, the increase is now. And I think, like, he's told me to pack a bag and to be, like, ready to go. Um, and also, he showed me that I'm going to be staying tent. <laughs> we're going to be in tents. Like, like we're going to be leaving the buildings, like, in homes and stuff. We're not going to be in homes. Um that um even his people weren't and we uh, have to prepare ourselves for that even like me like i i can't fit like you know purchasing wise like i can't buy any of those things but i'm sure the lord will provide and um he will set up everything in motion for us that all you have to do is walk in it um and he you know he he presets everything in front of us um to honor and glory him and to show his name and love but also guys i'm sorry the one of the words he gave me was newt gingrich um again that's newt gingrich 
and I did not know who that was. I had never heard of that name before ever. I hate, I don't really hate politics, but like I, that was never my thing. I never got into it. I always felt like it was just like fake and a show and I never believed any of it, both sides, even though I am more on one side. Um, I, I, you know, I believe we are Ameri we were born in America and we have rights, you know, and they're being uh, trampled on right now and it's very sad to see, but we knew that was coming and it has to happen. So, um, and then the other thing he gave me was there are two worlds coming from behind your world. Again, he said there are two worlds coming from behind your world. So, um, take that with it as you will. I haven't received anything else on those, which is crazy because other things I have totally understood and gotten more on. And I've prayed a lot on these things because I really want to know the new one. I feel like he's going to be a, he's going to be a big player or he's, he's hiding. He's a little slimy lizard guy. I don't really know, but that's what his name sounds like. And, um, I, I think that names really say who you are. But I just have a feeling that somehow he is working behind the scenes um, in, in what's going on in America and possibly overseas as well. Uh, but he's definitely not, he's definitely a part of um, Satan's system, you know. So um, take that with it. To pray, take that to prayer, guys. And um, there's also a word, which is so cool, because he started revealing this to me since like yesterday. It's like hey, he kind of just put it all together as one, and it's saying it's now, right? He's told me all this stuff is right now, and I can tell by feeling that anointing come on, like it is right now. I felt almost that now I have no other drive for anything else no other drive for anything else like I'm literally praying 24 7 which I already kind of talked to the Lord all day but and I never really was a big like prayer warrior I don't know why um I came at learning about Christ from a backward point of like coming from just like loving prophecy and then then into like getting saved and so um the basics of Christ um, took me a while to even like comprehend, I guess. But, um, and so being like a prayer warrior wasn't a big thing for me. But I would just like, I just have conversations with the Lord all day. That's kind of how like I interact with Him. And it seems to work great for me and for, you know, um, learning about Him and, and following His little puzzles and stuff. But, now I've become like a really big prayer warrior. Like I'm like if I see something, I'm trying to pray about it, pray for them, you know, ask for healing. And I've even asked three like I think it's three different people and I've never done this before the past like couple months. But I saw someone walking across the road whenever I was driving to a parking lot and they were going into um, a Planet Fitness and they were a two older couple. And the woman was helping the man walk in because he, his leg and back looked hurt while he was going in to do like PT, physical training or something. And um, I had my son in the car, but I went ahead, I kept driving and the Holy Spirit was like, no, go, go pray for healing for him. And I had never um, answered that before. I was way too nervous to do that and um, embarrassed kind of, like I don't know why. But I'm not anymore. I just was, you know. I had a hard time with that. So, um, I didn't want to put myself out there, you know. But I did. I went out there and prayed for him. And that's happened a couple times now. Um, so the Lord is definitely pushing you past, like, things that even that scared you. Any, like, regular emotions you have, physical emotions you have. Once this Holy Spirit is, like, filling you, especially with this increase, it doesn't really matter. Like... Those things can be pushed back and like, and you can still be just like really calm and um, comfortable in what you're doing and at peace. So I hope that you guys are feeling the anointing. I hope that you guys are, um, this is like com confirming to you or whatever. Just take it to the Lord. Ask him if this is true. 
Um, but there was a there was a Jeff Byerly, whom I love because I loved him like a long time ago and didn't and loved his like stuff because I could always tell it was truth off of like Tim Foster's videos. But I never heard his kick off of him stuff and then and then um, here recently the Lord had whenever I typed in the kickoff event to see like if anyone else had gotten that kind of stuff because I've seen other words by other people but he apparently has had like a lot on the kickoff event and the Lord pointed me toward his page and well uh, yesterday he came out with a word or it might have been this morning he came out with a word Acts 2.0 and it's exactly what the Lord showed me to the T like living in tents having the increase going to be healing there's going to be parts of the body who are going to bring upon the judgment the remnant shall return um and so it was such a confirmation to me and that's why i was like yeah i gotta i gotta go ahead and get this video out and um let everyone know what's going on so i love you guys and um i'm praying for you all for you all anyone who watches this video lord i just hope that you touch them and their heart and um, if any of you guys are not saved or don't know what the heck I'm talking about, you can contact me or message me or comment me. Um, just comment and ask for, you know, I like to, I'll, I'll uh, share my email. I just don't like to put it on like the main part of the comments, you know. I'll just, we'll do it on like a, a, the little side um, comment thing. And, uh, but yeah, repent, be baptized in the Holy Spirit, which is symbolic, but you know, immersing yourself in water is, um, um, an amazing way to show that. I know I did, and I know most people that I know that follow the Lord did physically, um, and ceremonially do a, um, baptism. And then repent from your sins after you've been baptized and you've asked the Father earnestly and seeking him on this seeking the truth um earnestly ask him for the holy spirit and he will give you that but you have to seek that out okay he's not just gonna give you all these things if you're not seeking him out and you're just like eh, you know ask one time and then you're done so show him that that you you want to know the truth that you want to you want truth in your life and then after that, continue, you know, to walk and trying to hear from the Holy Spirit. Try to act upon what the Holy Spirit is showing you to do or urging you or giving you the feeling to do. Try and um, practice discernment. And then anytime that you have reach a stumbling block and you sin, repent to the Lord. Ask Him to help you in this, this issue and, and to just keep going forward. Do not focus on a sin that, and just like focus, oh my gosh, I can't do this, can't do this, can't do this. The Holy Spirit will work it out of you. And if you make that mistake, then repent for it and move on. The Lord smites. That means to literally cut off. He cuts off your sins from you. Like they are never to be there again. He burns them away. They, they don't even turn to ash. They dissipate into the air and you're done. You're clean of sin because you repented to the Lord and you meant it. Okay, and then um, that also means to turn from your ways and to, um, and if you follow those kind of directions, you are turning from your ways. Things can be hard, but trust me, over time, the Holy Spirit begins to work so much out of you. You will look back in six months and be like, oh my gosh, how is that possible that I was able to do these things and never was able to do them when I wasn't? Um, a Christian and didn't believe in God and, and Jesus Christ. Um, Jesus' blood saves. So, he saves your life and saves your family's lives and keep, keep your family, you know, and, um, and your house home prayed and protected and anointed through the Father's name and through prayer. Alright, love you guys. Bye.